Hello guys, it is uh, probably going to be a one take today. I was going to try and do two takes, but there's no point because it's just going to be me sitting here. Um, so I... Ooh. Sorry, there's an ad. It looks good. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, I decided it's going to be a one take. I am back on the wagon in a massive way today. Um, I have written out my vision board, my dreams, and all my goals, and stuff that I have over the next five years. Um, and today's the day that I hold myself more accountable, um, especially with the food and stuff like that. I know I'm letting myself down and doing myself a massive disservice and not living to my potential because I just keep eating shit. Um, and that stops today because I'm sick of it. Um, I think for, for the time being, for the next little while, I'm going to be reading a lot of research, a lot of books about my food habits um, and, and why they are so bad and why my relationship with food is so poor because I actually want to fix it. I don't just want to lose weight. I don't just want to get, you know, less fat, less visceral fat, less adipose tissue on my body. I actually want to change my mindset so that I don't have these issues because it's plagued me probably for the last, uh, I'd say, 20 years. I'd say I've had a poor relationship with food um, ever since I was probably about seven or eight years old. Um, my relationship with food became an unhealthy one. So I need to work on that. 20 years of bad habits um, and 20 years of, of this sort of relationship with food, it's going to take a lot of work and that's why I've got to do a lot of research and I'm finally ready to, to work on that. Um, Sorry, I'm just checking how long I have left for film because it's it's not ruined my life. It's not made my life any worse. It's made me stronger because I had to fight against the adversity of being 126 kilos when I was my biggest weight. I've had to fight against the adversity of, of being an obese person, of having those health issues and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not sorry that it's affected me, but I'm, I think I'm finally ready for it to not affect me anymore. Um, I know if one of my biggest fears is one day having children and having them have the same problems that I have with food. And I know that if I continue on the way that I am and they see, like when I have kids and they see me, I have the relationship that I have with food and eat as much as I do and go crazy on food. And I don't want them to see that because I don't want them to have the same issues that I do. So it's time that I fix it. I'm at a good point in my life financially. I'm at a good point in my life. Um, mentally, I'm at a great point in my life in a lot of ways and now is the time um, and I'm really, really committed this time. Um, so not only am I going to be sort of restricting my calories, which sounds counterintuitive, um, it's not. It's just how I am going to be kicking it off. Um, I'm going to be a bit more flexible than I've been in the past in terms of I'll have more calories here or there if I feel like I need them, if I feel like I'm burning out, I'm going to have more calories if I feel like I want a cheat day, I'll just have more, but not crazy. But yeah, anyway, three minutes left. I'm pretty excited to get this done. Um, I really, really need to do this. And there are so many goals that I'm going to reach in the next five years because of today. So, yeah. On that note, I think that's Emily. It's unlocked! Is Emily coming through the door. So, on that note, I think I might end the vlog. Can I film you? Yeah, you can say. Oh, Emily was sick from work today. Yeah. Listen to that voice. Still uh, a little worse for wear, but. Yeah. Oh, poor Emily. But yeah. That's all I've got to say for today. Big day, but it's gonna be good. Good results, I think, because of today. Because of my shift in my mindset. I'm really ready for the first time ever, so yay. Thanks for watching, hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.